got a package from New York. My brother, this is continuing to send more of the uh, Apple II, Mac, any of the old vintage collection from him and his buddy back east that they collected from the uh, 80s and beyond. He said there's some other goodies in here, so who knows what the heck he could have put in. VW Caddy's been on me for another unboxing. Things have been so busy around here, I haven't had time to do much of anything. So I figure might as well just do a quick one with this. So let's get started. Moment of truth. Interesting. Huh. So my brother's been on me to open this up because apparently there's something in it for my girls and oh god, Beatles. But so got a date of 2001. The interesting part about this is is my brother that sent this used to live out here in New Mexico. And if it's truly a starfish lounge in there, that means they had this for their swimming pool. Packed it up, took it all the way back to New York where he's at now, let it sit in his basement for easily 15 plus years, and now it made its trip all the way back here to New Mexico for our daughters to play with it in our pool. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Ah unopened Beatles Monopoly. Well, my brother's also very big into board games, a lot of the advanced type games, so I'm sure there's a little bit of a backstory to this or something, but that's cool. You can never go wrong with Monopoly. He just told me the other day he was gonna put this in here, asked if I was interested, and I believe this, yeah. This is his uh, MacBook that was uh, my sister-in-law's, his wife's, from a long time ago, about 2006. So, we'll have some fun with that. Let's see, what else? Keyboard. A keyboard. Two. Ooh, a keyboard with broken keys. I don't think he would have sent it this way, so I think it had a pretty rough ride. You can see in there. The three key. All right, so we'll keep an eye out for those extra keys here. So we got power for that. MacBook. We got mouse, remote, all for the MacBook. Oh, oh, we got a mouse pad. Wow. How old is this one? <laughs> all right, so villagers. Ah, ha, ha. So, for the holidays, he always sends people his games he enjoys playing. And this last Christmas it was Villagers, and this is just more of an addition onto that game. Uh, let's see, oh, oh, found a key. Number two key. Let's see if it's, uh... oh yeah, it's pretty damaged. You can see it broke right there there. Bummer. We got the Mac LC right there. Looks better on video. <laughs> Looks a lot better in color on the video. But otherwise, case is in great shape. This will be adding to a whole nother series on our Macs. Oh. Thought I heard something rattling. This would be the monitor for that. So before I pull that out, I think I'm gonna move this box on down so that way 
I can get this stuff out without causing too much harm. And here we go. We have iBook. And yes, this is all going to be complete in the box. Got our power manuals and doo -doo -doo -doo. oh look at that he still has it wrapped it's almost like it's brand new wow it actually looks really good shape compared to the ones i've seen over the years there it is oh we're missing a key i'll have to find out from him if it was that way it looks like it probably was. I doubt it happened in shipping, considering. But otherwise, this is really good shape. And actually, scratch-wise, it's not bad at all. Most of these have tons of scratches all over them. So, cool. And lastly, LC monitor. Alrighty. So again, this one probably is going to show it on this video there, but lo yeah, lots of yellowing. Nothing we can't fix though. So, yes, it is in great shape. I mean, you got to consider how old this thing is. Let's see what their date code is on here. October 1990. We're at exactly 30 years of age on this. And it looks actually quite good. Okay, now this is exciting. The uh, last shipment I got from him over there with the 2GS had everything except an Apple cereal mouse. So now I have a cereal mouse. Yeah, it's only one. But I can toggle it between the uh, two right now and not have to worry about hunting one down online. Because lately, watching these online, once in a while you'll find a good deal. By the time I get to it, they're already taken. Uh, so, most of the listings online are quite high on these. So, cool. Thank you, thank you. And that is it on this collection we got here from New York. One more thing I wanted to show I, that I did get in in the last week. Uh, if you remember on my uh, C64 restoration video, I did the dead test cartridge from JSAS. And in the last week, I got a couple new goodies sent to me from JSAS. And the first one is, is the GAL PLA chip and he is now selling these also on eBay and I will put a link down below for that so that's his PLA chip but more importantly what I'm so excited about is on eBay he is now listed and selling and he's selling quite a few of them it looks like his pie 1541 so that's the hat that's going to go on your raspberry pi 3 which you see down below and on his you have daisy chain ability one's going to connect to your commodore to use the pi 1541 and the other one you can daisy chain on to your other drives so that is the pi 1541 being sold by jsas and uh, I'm so excited to have this because I've been dying to use it, just been too busy lately. But I do want to connect it up to my uh, VIC-20, my Plus 4, SX, all of them. So there you have it. That's uh, what I got in here in the last week. Thank you to my brother and Rick for all this good stuff. Uh, thank you to JSAS for the uh, 
Pi 1541. Got a great LC here to work on. Lots of stuff to play with. Kids are going to love the floaties. Uh, more stuff for them to fight over, yell, and drown each other in the pool. And got some villagers to dive into here at some point. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And I just wanted to shoot this real quick. So uh, I am going to continue working on that C64C restore video. Hopefully I can get that up pretty soon. Retrobrite went really well on it. I think I might have said that before. But anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great one.